All right, so for problem number one, it says a permanent bar magnet number one is vertically oriented so that the north end is below its south end. The north end of this magnet feels an upward magnetic force of 1.5 millinewtons from an identical vertically oriented magnet number two uh, that has one end located 2.5 centimeters directly below the north end of number one. Make a sketch showing the orientation of the second magnet's poles. So according to this, I have a magnet number one, this is magnet number one, that is oriented so the north end is below, the north pole is below the south pole. Then I have a vertically oriented magnet, okay, and there is a force that's exerted on magnet number one from magnet number two, and that force is equal to 1.5 millinewtons, and that force is directed upward. Um, I happen to know that the distance from the north end to the north end is 2.5 centimeters, so we have to make a sketch of the poles in the second magnet. Now the only way I can exert an upward force is if I have a like pole, because remember like poles repel. Uh, if, this, if this right here was the south pole, what would happen is it would attract, and it would, in other words, it would want to pull this magnet down. But in order to push it up, there has to be are repelling, so they have to be similar poles. So that means that uh, the orientation of the second magnet should be like this. Okay. Um, well, that was easy enough. So that was uh, that's part A. Now let's read part B. A third identical magnet, number three, is brought in and orientated horizontally so that the north end closest to number one is 2.5 centimeters directly to the right of the north pole. So. Um, what that means is that I have a third magnet, magnet number three, that has a north pole here. All right, and the question is, what is the magnetic force on the north end of the magnet one now? So I would guess that there's a force going this way. Okay, and let me erase this because you can't quite, I kind of covered up the words when I wrote, tried to underline the words. So it says, what is, um, it says, what is the um, magnetic force on the north end of the magnet number one now? So if I were to draw a free body diagram, uh, there's a couple clues. One is they're equally distant apart, and they're also all identical magnets. So this is an identical magnet um, to this magnet and also identical to this magnet. So they're all the same mag uh, magnets. And so the north poles will repel, so I'm going to assume because they're the same distance apart that this force applied to the north pole and magnet one would be 1.5. So if I do a free body diagram of the north pole, um, I have a force going this way of 1.5 and a force being applied this way of 1.5. So I've got 1.5 and uh, 1.5. If I do the tip to tail method, um, I should have a resultant vector like this. Um, and because it, uh, the, the angle theta really should be, this should be 45 degrees. Uh, the reason I know that is because the side lengths are the same. Um, so that only occur, uh, occurs with a 45 degree angle. I know, um, so you would translate this, if you were to translate this length, uh, you would have 1.5 by 1.5. And my resultant vector, let me change it to a different color so we can see it better. My resultant vector would be here, and so this angle here would be 45 degrees, because that's an isosceles triangle. And it's a 90, it's a, when you have an isosceles right angle, um, the two side lengths are um, congruent. So I know the angle is 45 degrees, but I need to know the magnitude of the force. So to calculate the magnitude of the force, the resultant vector force, F, 
would be equal to, uh, we just use the Pythagorean theorem, right? If I wanted to find this force here, I would just take the square root of 1.5 squared plus the square root of 1.5 squared, and all of that is going to be in millinewtons. Um, well, technically, that should go, it should go on the inside, so it would be millinewtons squared. And uh, if you crank through that and you do the math, you would get the magnitude of the force would be 2.1 millinewtons. And um, you could say like 45 degrees above horizontal. To the left. So what what they what the question is asking us is there's a force being applied to this magnet, and it's going to be a magnitude of 2.1, and it's going to be at an angle of 45 degrees upward or above the horizontal and to the left. Okay.